Hello everyone, Super Genius Zeb here, and today I'm going to be showing you all the history of my skin and how I made it. So some people have asked how I made this skin, um, particularly like the transparent hands and stuff. Well, and also these little holes in the back, and also right there underneath my head, as you can, as you can see that. So the way that was done was using um, well, Minecraft Pocket Edition's ability to have transparent skins, of course. Um, this is a modified version of the skin I use on Minecraft, um, Java Edition. And I basically just, um, erase some of the pixels to make it transparent, because Pocket Edition actually supports those kind of skins. Let me see, is there, like, one in here that has that? Um, I don't know if there's any, like ones in the uh, official ones over here that have it but I it's a thing that I that somebody discovered at some point so, okay that's pretty cool and then I did it so now allow me to show you all my skins <laughs> okay so this looks kind of creepy or goofy looking and if you're wondering what in the world this is this is actually my first skin I ever made this, as you can tell by these legs, it's literally just me painting over the generic Steve skin <laughs> with uh, um, a paintbrush tool. So there's an, it's very like blurry. It, it look it looks just as bad as it it looks to you right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what I went around using when I first started playing Minecraft in, in 1.5.1. All the way up to, I'm not sure, might have even been using it in 1.6. But then came my second skin. And as you can see, this one is far more refined. It's got these um, little uh, white eyes here. And it looks quite a bit better. There's, still, there's a couple elements that I still have in my current skin, like the uh, the hands there. I've been using a Lego minifigure skin for pretty much the entire yeah, all of my time playing Minecraft. I mean, occasionally I've used a, a non Lego minifigure skin, but it was only for like a couple times and stuff. But this is pretty much it. Uh, I then refined it a little bit more by changing the eyes to something a little bit more like what I have today, and then adding the Z to the uh, torso or slash shirt. Then the third one um, uses the uh, hat layer that is on skins to make the head look a little rounder and uh, I still use that technique in my current skin and now comes the big upgrade <laughs> the one I've been using since 1.8 this skin so this skin is not entirely original definitely not I found the original version of the skin which I think had like a like non-vertical eyes or something like they were just little dot eyes I think maybe it might even have been a different smile I'm not sure I didn't have to see um actually I'm not even sure if it had like these uh, most of this hand most of this stuff over here what I mean is like the hat layer for the hands um I think I might have added those I'm not sure I know that I added these like the the uh, coat layer for the legs to make the little knees and feet things stick out just a little. But I think I might have I might have found a skin on Planet Minecraft, or I might find out some other Minecraft skin site. But the original skin I have not been able to find ever since I found it. It might have been taken down. I don't know. But this is the skin I've been rolling with ever since. I um, I, I really do like it. I'm not really sure if I'll ever change it. Maybe I will. But as for Minecraft Pocket Edition, look very closely. There, that is literally it. I literally just erased these pixels, and that is what I did. Ah, uh, yeah, I just noticed now I didn't, actually didn't erase the pixels on the bottom of the legs. Or oh, wait, are those the bottom of the legs? Wait. Um. Which. Man, it's kind of hard to tell. I think these might be the bottom of the legs. Yeah, this is the bottom of the legs. I think, maybe, yes, 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 those are, so if I wanted to make this skin maybe a little more accurate to me, you figure I might erase those, 
um, pixels right there to give it a hole on the bottom, like a real minifigure leg. But anyway, that's that's pretty much it. That's how my skin has sort of evolved, I guess, from a very goofy-looking handmade one to a slightly better handmade one that sort of changed a little bit over time. And then one I've if off of some skin site that I don't remember and I don't know where to find the original one. And then modify it again for Micro Pocket Edition to have transparent pixels. And that's pretty much it. Actually, there is one more skin, and it's this one. Um, most of you probably won't recognize this one, but I did wear it at one point. And um, anyone who can name the episode, <laughs> well, t let me know in the comment section. Just tell me if you can remember where you saw this. But uh, anyway, I actually didn't mean to wear it in that episode. I meant to wear this one over here. But um, the skin changes took a, take a long time to be applied to older Minecraft versions and stuff like that. So, you know, it was... Yeah. So I was stuck wearing this thing for the whole first episode. I actually did, wanted to use this skin later on for a certain special event, which still hasn't to happen. But uh, I'll just leave that for... Uh, when it happens, I won't reveal anything. But anyway, this has been Super Genius Seb, and now you know what my skin has looked like over the um, oops, uh, over the years, and how I made the skin. I literally just um, found one on a random Minecraft skin website, edited it, the face thing, added some hat layer stuff um, in the skin editor. And then for Micro Pocket Edition, I just erased some pixels. Oh, and uh, one more important thing. If you want to have a transparent skin, you need to save your um, um, skin file as a .png. You, it cannot be a .jpeg, because .jpeg pictures do not support transparency. So that's an important thing. So if any of you were wondering how you can have transparent pixels on your skin, just do that. Oh, uh, one more thing, actually. Before you try and make your entire skin transparent, it won't work. Uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition, slash Windows 10 Edition, slash etc. has um, some fail-safes to make sure that you can't have a completely transparent skin. I also think you can't have a completely transparent, like, arm, or completely transparent leg, or head, or whatever. Each part needs to have a certain amount of pixels that aren't transparent. I don't know what that percentage is, but, you know. Also, I... I haven't actually tried using, you know, semi-transparent pixels yet. Hmm, you might be able to have things, things like a, a, um, like a glass head or something. That might be interesting. Maybe I'll try that out one of these days. Or maybe you guys can go try it out for yourselves and figure it out. But anyway, uh, I hope this answered all your questions you could ever possibly have about my skin. I made this video com just so I would never have to answer the question again and I could just link to the video. And I felt like making a video, so thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you again in the next video. Goodbye!